Noah, Noah, can you hear me? Romeo, hello. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm blessed. Can't complain. Got a new season of Etso on the Beach, Peak of Love. Yeah, that's right. Uh-huh. We're going to talk all about Hey, Romeo, I want to tell you before we talk about it, you were actually in Georgia, my friend, filming a oh, movie yeah. that you were working on this past summer. Oh, and yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in Augusta. Uh-huh. Shout out to Augusta. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, that movie actually... Um, I started that movie like seven years ago, and they just wow. <laughs> seven years. Uh -huh. So this movie's gonna be like an eight, nine year process, <laughs> but um, <laughs> it's based off a true story. I can't wait for the Ooh. world to see it. I don't even know what it's titled yet, yeah. but um, I think it'll That's be on so cool. Disney Plus or something. So. <gasps> on Disney Plus. Oh, yeah. okay now. Uh huh. Because that's like, yeah, that's why. To be get it on there, Romeo. Come on to now. Get continue. it on that Disney Plus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone's watching the Plus and the Disney. I'm just. <laughs> 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 the Disney Plus the of it Disney all. Plus. Oh, yes. Snow White and exactly. all the little princesses. Uh huh. Lizzie uh -huh. McGuire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pop it. Yeah, those were the movies back then, right, Roman? Oh Y'all got God. me questioning, like, did I choose the wrong network, Nickelodeon? Because Disney Plus, <laughs> years later, pop it. Come on, Nickelodeon, we got to step <laughs> our game up. Uh huh. Well, you know Nickelodeon, they're doing something now with Netflix. Netflix. They're, they're, they're stirring that pot real quick, and they're like, uh-oh, yeah. Disney Plus is getting out. Uh -huh. Hey, well, guess they're we like, mm. had to bring the Romeo show back on Netflix. That's right, uh-huh. <laughs> That's right, no Disney Plus for that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Romeo is going to beat you, Disney Plus. There, <laughs> I didn't say it. that. No, that was Noah, I'm, not me. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Do not quote okay, that for Romeo, me. Okay, Romeo. I'm having too much fun now. Now let's go. <laughs> now let's talk about X on the Beach, Peak of Love. Uh, you know, this series is going to bring 10 international celebrity singles to the mountains of Queenstown, New Zealand. Ooh, I want to yeah. visit there. Uh, <laughs> as they search for their true love, only to be unexpectedly confronted by their past relationships. Oh, snap, as Raven would say. Yeah. See, look, I see what I did there. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what are we going to see the celeb, the celeb reality singles get into? Like, how juicy yeah. is this season going to be, Romeo? Honestly, I'm not being biased. This is the best season yet. And I think it's the best oh. season because it's something about being in the cold in the snow and oh. wanting just to cuddle with anybody and any damn thing that's near you. I'm just saying, like, <laughs> people were saying they hated their ex. And then five oh. seconds later in the hot tub with their ex. So, oh. um... This season is a lot of fun. It's very entertaining. I think this is the most entertaining show on TV. Uh, the Numbers Don't Live has been a, a hit show on MTV for the past few years. And this season, like I said, it's, it's entertaining, but you're going to learn something. Um, yeah, yeah. I learned so much just from watching everybody on the show. I learned things about my relationships, future relationships, the do's and the don'ts. And that's why you need to watch this show, ladies and gentlemen, so you can learn the do's and the don'ts so you can have a happy relationship. Mm -hmm. I need to learn the do's and the don'ts. Exactly. Uh -huh. You need to tune in then. <laughs> Thursdays on MTV, at on the Beach, Peak of Love, is going to teach yes. you the do's and don'ts of your future you, relationships. <laughs> you know, we had Aubrey all day. She's like, Noah, uh, how are you? You know, like, yeah, we had Aubrey. I love Aubrey. She was yeah. so fun. Yeah, she was talking about X on the Beach. You know, she's yeah. like, Noah. No, Aubrey, you know? Aubrey was the yeah. turn up queen last season uh -huh. on X on the Beach. Aubrey, I remember, left. she left a whole day to go fix her wig. So shout out to <gasps> Aubrey. That's a real <laughs> boss right there. Nobody ever did that. People don't get to leave the S on the beach house. Aubrey is the only yeah. one. Unless oh. you're sick, that's the only way you leave. Aubrey is, uh -huh. I need to change my wig, shawty. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> shout out to Aubrey. Oh, I love it. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> she She's a hoop now. She's a character. You know what yeah. I mean, Romeo? Uh -huh. But she she was so fun. I yeah. loved having her on. Well, you know, what's been really like one of the best parts about hosting is clearly, you know, this show has yeah. continued to be one that the fans, they crave for and they absolute love because you never know what's going to happen yeah. when you start getting these celebs uh, and, you know, with their, you know, talking about their ex and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, you know. It's, it's funny how everything works. Everything is always on God's time, and I feel I never wanted to get into hosting except it was if it was the perfect situation. And when yeah. I met with MT about, MTV mm -hmm. about hosting X on the Beach, I'm like, if I host, this is the type of show I want to host because I'm not only um, 
doing something that I love and being able to be around people and learn from their relationships, mm -hmm. but I feel I could guide them in a way as well. Like, I call myself the new Dr. Phil. Some people call it Jerry Springer, oh, but I think it's yeah. Dr. Phil. Uh -huh, okay. Romeo. Or a mix of Jerry Springer and Dr. Phil. I'll take it. <laughs> mix with Cupid in one. But, um... Oh. <laughs> Absolutely. But yeah, this show, you always learn. Like I said, like I'm learning from the everybody on the show as well, even though I'm not directly involved in right. the relationships. Um, if, you, if you're able to watch from the outside and, and take something from that, I feel that's the mm -hmm. best lessons in life. Well, Romeo, that needs to be your... Um description in your uh, uh uh on your social media the dr phil and the uh-huh jerry spring yeah. no i can't put that in there <laughs> <laughs> i ain't gonna get no more jobs man <laughs> <laughs> oh my god look we'll we'll come up with our own little show together romeo we'll do hey, look, something all oh, right yeah. so if i if i don't got a job we could do that but i actually got a lot right now i actually got another <laughs> show growing up hip-hop premiering december 5th as well yes yes I, I was gonna say the um season five premiere is coming up and I, yeah. uh, let me tell you romeo it looks like a lot's gonna go down in that season Whoa. a lot you know, goes especially down. from seeing the teaser that our friends et posted I, what can you tell us about that season that fans are going to definitely want to, you know, get answers to? All I could say is that things get real this season on Growing Up Hip Hop because this season for mm -hmm. me it was about growth. And sadly, mm -hmm. when you're growing as a person and you're trying to find your peace, mm -hmm. people don't like that. For some reason, you know, people yeah. don't understand like, all right, why am I not coming along for this ride or on this journey? And sometimes it's only for you to go figure out to truly grow. So uh, this is a funny season because I think things are taken way out of proportion. But that's what happens on reality TV. And right. I can't wait for you guys to see uh, Etz on the Beach, Peak of Love, and Growing Up Hip Hop. And on yeah. top of that, I'm producing a documentary, which I'm very proud of, with BET about my pop's life, the No Limit Chronicles, Master P. Uh, hopefully we get nominated for some Oscars for that. Like, I think this is the dopest documentary yes. out. And I'm coming yes. back to music, baby. Yes, that's right. Hidden Treasure, December Hidden the 15th. Treasure, uh -huh. December 15th, and I'm coming back. Let me tell you, your fans are giddy excited for that. I, I, yeah. I was looking at the comments, and I'm I like, I need you to get are, excited, Noah. For Come it. on you now. Why I mean? are you not excited? Oh, I am excited. Believe me, you, okay, Romeo. Cool. I will be listening, and I will be purchasing. Uh -huh. I appreciate that. <laughs> the card will be swiping, you know. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. Well, Romeo, <laughs> let, let's talk about Hidden Treasure. Oh, my goodness. I, I yeah. tell you, it's a, me, uh, me in a morning. Woo! You know, <laughs> you crazy. Well, all right. Well, Hidden Treasure, let, yeah. let, let's talk about the album now. Like, you know, how, what, how long was the process like, you know, to get that new music out for your fans? Because, yeah. you know, you gave them a little sneak peek on Instagram. And yeah. I have to say, it's pretty litty. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It's real litty as the youngest uh -huh. would say. But uh, this process was crazy because I've had fans hitting me up on social media and I see them saying like, are you ever gonna come back to music? And in my head, I'm like, what are you guys talking about? I record music every week. I didn't realize that just because I'm listening to my own music, the world doesn't get to hear that. And it mm. finally click, I'm like, Rome, you're being selfish right now. You've been listening to your own music for all these years and haven't released a new album. So I just wanted to do something for the fans for the holidays. This is just a yeah. warm up, it's part one. Um, the best is yet to come, but I'm really excited. Like oh. this project, and I'm a I'm an independent artist. With all the success that I've had, people forget mm -hmm. that I'm independent. I, I sold millions of records, broke records, but I'm you. independent. So I feel That's this, right. I named this album Hidden Treasure because I think people are gonna appreciate it down the line once, mm -hmm. they, uh, mm -hmm. once they go find it. You know, it literally is a hidden treasure. But uh, for the diehard fans, I can't wait for them to be the first ones to enjoy yeah. this December 15th. And it's, it's going to be a word of mouth pro uh, project. So go tell your friends, go tell your grandma, tell your cousin. Romeo is coming back to music December 15th, Hidden Treasure. This is my best work yet. And I wanted to give That's it to right. the fans I'm, for I'm, Christmas. I'm gonna get my grandma to hit the quan, or you know, <laughs> her, her, you know, I, 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 or do the dab. Yeah, that's right. I appreciate well, Romeo, it. I, you are doing so much. Congratulations on all your success. Thank I you. love being able to follow you and keep up with all the projects that you are working on. I mean, I don't see how you do it all, but you do, and yeah. you are an incredible, awesome guy in this Thank biz you. of entertainment. And X on the Beach, Peak of Love, it premieres Thursday, December the fifth, nine p.m. Yeah. Eastern Standard Time, Pacific Standard Time, on M. TV. Romeo, I could talk with you all day, but they're giving me the wrap-up, so I, right. I, I got to go, my friend. <laughs> Appreciate it. Blessings to you.
You take care now. Thank you. All right, <laughs> bye-bye.